Hi, I'm Steven Montes. First of all, I'd like to do a quick shout out to two very important people. One is Mr. Big Dog, Tons. Brett Tons, O Lyman, Colorado football. Number two is the Mantis, Casey Marksbury, quarterback, Colorado football. Steven, now that we got that out of the way, this is a big year for you personally. And, you know, there's been a lot of talk about your progression and the confidence, but I think just kind of from a physical perspective, how do you feel you're better suited this year than you were at the beginning of last year? Um, just from a physical perspective, you know, I lost a whole bunch of weight. I think a lot of people know that uh, I dropped about 22 pounds in the off season. So I think right now um, my body just feels a lot better. I'm not getting as tired during practice. I'm in a lot better shape than I was last season. Uh, my legs feel a lot faster and I, I feel like I'm getting from A to B a lot faster. And my arm just feels a lot more live than it did. I mean, the ball's coming out with a lot of zip, and I'm throwing the deep ball well as well. So, I mean, I'm feeling really good physically right now. When you look at kind of what Cepho had to do with this team, it was kind of drag him through the mud. Mm -hmm. You have so many weapons. It's kind of like you got to go weapons. out and make plays. Do you yeah. see that as your role this year, and how confident are you in the rest of the guys around you? Uh, yeah, I'm extremely confident in the guys we've got around me. I mean, the O-line is going to be fantastic this year. Everybody knows the, the blackout boys, the receivers on the outside and the inside are going to be amazing for us this year. Phillip Lindsay's probably the best running back in the Pac-12, so we got weapons all over the field, really. Uh, so what i got to do is just go out there and just, just honestly just not make mistakes, execute to the best of my possibilities and then when I have to if it breaks down make plays when I have to make plays that's kind of how I'm looking at it last year the mantra was get the first first down and it was trying to pay it a play at a quick pace yep. do you see your guy do you see you guys kind of speeding that up even a little bit this year with that experience oh yeah definitely definitely everyone's playing a lot a lot faster a lot quicker pace we're getting the ball snapped a lot quicker we're getting it out to the perimeter screens and we're handing it off quick or whatever we're going to do we're running plays quick and I think it's it, everything looks really smooth right now it wasn't kind of like last year where we would do a quick play and maybe if we got it quick we would make a mistake up front or make a mistake in the receipt about the receiving area or make a mistake at quarterback it's it's kind of like everyone's on the same page because I feel like this group's been together a long time last year you saw firsthand just what injuries can do to the quarterback position yep. coach Mac seems to be getting four guys ready yep. how important is it to this football team to not just have yourself but have Sam and Tyler and even Casey yeah. you know ready to go I mean, I, I'm always telling people this, like this quarterback group that we have. It's kind of like, a, like a brotherhood. It's not like, okay, there's a starter and everybody hates the starter or everybody's fighting. And, and it's been like that. It's been like that since I've been here. It's been a tight knit group. Everybody's very close with each other, and everybody really wants everybody to be successful. Just exactly how it was like with Sefio or with Sefo last year. When he went down, I was up. He was my biggest supporter. So the, the way it works this year is like. I mean, if they if they name me starter or not, we'll I mean we'll still we'll still see still hasn't came out, but um, say I go down, then in the meeting room all the quarterbacks kind of test each other and make sure that we're all prepared to possibly go in and play the game. So everybody pretty much knows everything. So say I go down, then Sam Neuer can go in and win us the game, and that's ultimately what it's about is winning games. It's not about oh, well, I want to be the one that wins us the game. It's going to be about Colorado football winning games. How tough was it for you last year to come into the situations that you did? I mean, starting off with Michigan, that's a huge environment. You know what I mean? Then Pac-12 championship, also Alamo Bowl. So for you, do you feel like you've been tested? So when things kind of come your way, you better sort of to handle it? I mean, yeah, I feel like I feel like I definitely got some, some good experience last year from, from some very big stages. I mean, going at Michigan, I mean, a lot of kids dream of playing there, and I ended up getting to play play there and then and, and the bowl game and the Pac-12 championship those are huge stages so I mean just me getting uh, that playing time there and just kind of seeing how the speed of the game and how the game was going and just kind of judging that stuff is it's going to be huge for me this year just off of a confidence level alone just knowing in my own head that I've been here before and that I handled the situation very well. What was your inspiration for football? Fans kind of want to know who Steven Montez is who their starting quarterback is what was your inspiration for football what kind of made you fall in love with the game? Um I mean, I guess um, at first I kind of, when I was a young kid, I played football. I played tackle football growing up, loved the game. Um, I was always a big fan of Tom Brady, as a lot of kids are. Um, going to middle school, I moved to uh, Phoenix, Arizona with my mom. 
I, I didn't really like football anymore, so I, I ended up quit quit playing, and then I started playing a lot of basketball. Got really good at basketball, and I'm I'm a Michael Jordan fan. I mean, the greatest of all time in my eyes. Um, so then when I came back to high school, I kind of was like just watching people, and I, I ended up getting back into football because my dad was the coach, and I, I still love the game, but I kind of just I wanted to look up to somebody. And honestly, the the person that I look up to, a lot of people don't agree with, is Johnny Manziel. I think Johnny Manziel is a fantastic football player. He's a great football player. He's a playmaker. He's got a very live arm, and he he makes huge plays when his team needs him, and he wins. That's what he does. So I mean, uh, all that off the field stuff with Johnny, I mean. He, he's a grown man. He makes his own decisions. But I think on the field, that's really who I look up to is Johnny Manziel. So at one point, was there a serious thought in your head about playing basketball in college? Um, I had an offer to play basketball for New Mexico State. and uh, But I mean, it wasn't ever really serious because I kind of always just saw myself playing basketball like uh, like a hobby, just something to keep myself in shape and something to really just have fun. Because I, I, I love playing basketball. To this day, I still love playing basketball. So. It was really uh, more of just something just to keep my time occupied and just keep me out of trouble. What are your goals for this season? I mean, I know, listen, you came off of two somewhat disappointing games here at the end of last season. Yeah. Did that kind of feed his motivation for you entering the off season? And kind of what do you want to set forward and prove this season? Yeah, definitely. I think that kind of lit a fire under everybody, to be honest, is those last two games, we did not want to go out how we how we wanted to. We didn't we didn't go out how we wanted to send the senior, seniors out last year. So I think everybody's kind of really upset and just kind of like that's never going to happen to us again. Like we'll never feel that way again just because we're going to be so prepared and so ready for any situation that we can possibly get into that there's not even going to be a possibility of that happening again. I heard yesterday, and I've heard this before. Teammates referred to you as money. Where does that come from? Um, is that the Johnny Manziel? I don't. It might be the Johnny Manziel. It might just be some some good balls that I've thrown. Just earned. My last name starts with an M, so I mean, it kind of it, it kind of just fits fits well. Money. I mean, <laughs> some players on the team they call me Queso. Speaks to the heritage a little bit, so I like it. I dig it. I mean, it's cool. So uh, I mean, I stick I stick with both nicknames, Money and Queso.